We're just about ready for game time here at Homewood Flossmoor High School. Today we have a primetime matchup between Marion Catholic Spartans and your Homewood Flossmoor Vikings. It's going to be a great day game here today. Starting on the bump for your Vikings is 33, Henry Humes. He's making his second start of the season. Made his first start on opening night for the Vikings against the Kenwood Broncos. Pitched four innings, allowing two runs. So not a bad start for him, looking to continue on that success here against the Spartans. Pitching for the Spartans is going to be number 14, it's Michael Stanton. Making his first appearance against the Vikings this season. This is the first time the two teams have met this season and in a few years. So stepping up to the plate, leading things off for the Spartans is going to be number seven. It's the starting second baseman, Joey Barzinski. Got a pretty large crowd for the game today. Crosstown rivalry between the Spartans and the Vikings, so a lot of people coming out here to support. Hughes is set. Here's the wind-up fan, the first pitch. Berensky shows bunt on the first pitch. He pulls back, gets called for a strike. 0-1 on him. He's leading off for the Spartans starting at second. Here's the second pitch. Fouled off towards the left. He's laid on the fastball. It's going to be 0-2. First pitch changeup, second pitch fastball here from Humes. We'll see what he goes to on pitch three. Here's the wind-up and the pitch. Swing and a miss from Baranski. Humes gets the first batter strikeout. So three straight pitches for a strikeout there for Humes. Nice pitch sequence here from him. Went with the slider there on the third pitch. Stepping up now is Matt Gonzalez for the Spartans. Here's a pitch. Fastball high and away. It's going to be ball one. 1-0 here. Here's the wind-up, the pitch. Slider fouled off into the Vikings dugout. 1-1. One one. Here's the wind-up from Humes. Fastball, another high and away. It'll be 2-1. Here's the windup and the pitch. Fastball fouled off by Gonzalez. So 2-2 two -two now. Two two now for the starting left fielder. Here comes the pitch from Humes. The changeup grounded a second. Morales feels it cleanly. He'll throw to first for the out. Nice inside changeup there from Humes. Gonzalez was early on it. Chopped it to second. Morales with a clean fielding. And he'll get the out. Here's your replay. Nice inside drop. Got on top of it. Morales fielded it cleanly. Threw it to Heidelberg for the easy out. 
Here comes Jonah Weathers. Sets it up to the plate for Spartans. First pitch. Slider away, ball one. <coughs> Here comes the pitch from Hume. Fastball fouled off by Weathers. One and one now. Weathers, a dual sport athlete, played varsity basketball for the Spartans as well as baseball. Here comes the 1-1 one -one to the starting shortstop. The pitch. Slider away. Didn't bite. It'll be 2-1 now on Weathers. Here comes the 2-1 from Humes. Fastball. Grounded to Morales. He was late on it. Morales fields it cleanly. Throws a title bar for the easy out. So 1-2-3 inning there for Humes. No trouble there. We'll go to the bottom of the second. You're watching HF Viking Baseball. Alright, we're about ready for the bottom of the first and then stepping up for the Vikings is Tory Chaney. He's the starting shortstop for the Vikings. Stanton on the mound. Here's the wind up the pitch. Fastball outside corner called for ball one on Chaney. 1-0. Here's the wind up from Stanton. Fastball popped high in the air. Weathers runs towards it. He calls it. He makes the catch. So a two pitch out there from Stanton to get Cheney down. First out there for the Vikings. Here's the wind up from Stanton. Line up the middle. First pitch hit there from Ricky Ham, and he'll be on first with one out. Let's check the replay on that one. Fastball on the outside corner of the plate. Ham did a good job reaching towards it. Drove it right up the middle for a first pitch single. Stanton had to duck, almost hit him in the head. So stepping up for the Vikings now is Demir Heidelberg. Ham leaves off first. Stanton checking over. He set, pick off to first. They got him. So Stanton picks off Ricky Ham, and that'll be the second out of the inning for the Vikings. 
Didn't look like Ham expected the throw over there and got caught sitting. So now two outs for Demir Heidelberg. Here's the winder from Stanton. It's popped up in the air. Weathers calls for it. He'll make the catch. So an easy three outs there for the Spartan Spartans. Quick inning there for the Vikings. We'll head to the top of the second. You're watching HF Viking Baseball. So now we're in the top of the second. Stepping up for the Spartans is number eight, the designated hitter, it's Jonathan Trotter. Here's the pitch from Hughes. Fastball way late on it is Trotter. He blows the fine for strike one. Hughes with a one, two, three inning in the first, retiring Baranski, Gonzalez, and Weathers. Here's the pitch. Another fastball in the outside corner called for strike two. It'll be 0 and 2 here on Trotter. So blew it by him on the first pitch, went right back to it. Let's see what he does here on the third. Here's the pitch. Here's a slider followed back up towards the press box. It'll be 0-2 still. So a slider that started inside, curved more down the middle. Trotter got a piece of it and fouled it back. Here's the pitch from Humes. Slider away. Trotter thought about it, but he didn't go. It'll be 1-2 here on Jonathan Trotter. <coughs> Humes is set. Here's the windup, the pitch. Slider, swing, and a miss. Nice pitch there from Henry Humes to get Trotter for the strikeout. One out now for the Vikings on the nice slider out and away. Let's check the replay there on that one. Stepping up now is Michael Stanton. He's the pitcher for the Spartans. Slider away there from Humes was nasty. Got him to bite. Here's pitch. Here's Humes with the pitch. It's a fastball driven to left field. That'll get down. Robertson will field it, and Stanton will be down for a one-out single. So a nice swing there from Stanton to put him on first with only one out.
Pickoff there from Humes. They thought he got him. They did not. So it'll remain a 0 count here on Max Melee. Humes is set. He picked off again. He did not get him. Humes looks over again. He's set. Here's the pitch to Melee. It's a fastball outside corner. Looks a little bit low. Called for ball one. Humes is set. Here's the pitch. Fastball. Knocked off the mound of Cheney. Cheney throws to first, second. Interesting play there. Liner off the mound. Cheney fielded it cleanly through to second to Morales. Morales tried to throw it to first, but they didn't get melee in time. So, yeah, line hit off the tip of the mound, the corner. Nice play there from Tory Cheney. But melee just beat it out to avoid the double play. So, two outs now. Stepping up for the Spartans. It's going to be Nick Willaboy. Humes is set. Here's the pitch. Called for strike one. 0 1 1 now. No, it looks like a ball, I guess. They called it outside, maybe. Here's the pitch from Humes. Fastball fouled off Willaboy's foot. 1 and 1. Nice way to come back there from Humes. Inside fastball. Little boy fouled it off his own foot. So it'll be one and one here with two outs, runner on first. Humes takes a look at Melee. Here's the pitch. Slider. Melee goes, and he'll get to second safely on the steal. Outside slider. Williams stopped it from getting past him, but couldn't field it cleanly. Humes comes set. Here's the pitch. Fastball. It hit Willaboy, so he'll go to first. It'll be runners on first and second with two outs. High fastball. Nailed Willaboy in his shoulder. So it'll be still two outs, and up to the plate is Josh Hill. He's the starting third baseman for the Spartans. Humes is set. Here's the pitch. Fastball inside called for a strike. 0 1 now. Humes is set. Here's the pitch. Another fastball. Line down the third baseline. That's foul. Ham couldn't get to it just outside the base, so it'll be foul. 0 and 2 here on Hill. Runners on first and second, so Hume's trying to get out of this two-out jam and stops the Spartans from scoring any runs. Hume's come set. Here's the 0-2. It's a fastball low in the dirt. Good stop by there by Williams to avoid prevent the runners from advancing. It'll be 1-2. Here he comes. Here's the pitch. Fastball high and inside. 2-2 two -two now on Hill.
Here comes the 2-2 from Humes. The pitch. Fastball jammed Hill. Humes will field it in fair territory. Toss it to first. He'll get him. So a nice play there by Henry Humes to touch it before a win foul and get the third out of the inning. So they leave two runners stranded. They'll get out of the inning. Humes does not allow a run. So after one and a half innings, it'll be 0-0. We're headed to the bottom of the second. You're watching HF Viking Baseball. Here's the pitch from Stanton. Curveball. High, but it's called for a strike. So 2-1 now on Cameron Williams. So with Williams starting at catcher, Holly's at DH. He's on deck. Another outside slurve. So it'll be 3-1 here on Cam Williams. Stanton is set. Here comes the pitch. Fastball. High. Williams will take his walk. So he'll be on first with no outs and up to the plate is James Holly. Looks like they're going to pinch run from Williams. It's going to be Mateo Munoz to pinch run for him. Munoz started at catcher the first three games this season. So the coach is giving him a break and starting Williams here for the fourth game of the season against Marion. Holly. Stanton looking over at Munoz at first. Here comes the pitch. Fastball outside called for strike one. Stanton is set. Munoz leading off of first. Arthur Stamps on deck. Here's the L1 pitch from Stanton. Pick off to first. Close play, but got back in time was Munoz. So Stanton, having already picked off Ham at first, almost got another, but Munoz got back just in time. Stanton is set. Here comes the pitch to Holly. No, another pickoff. He's back in time. So two straight quick pickoff moves there from Stanton. Almost got Munoz both times, but Munoz just got back in as first baseman Kwasnicka dropped the ball. Stanton is set. Here's the pitch. It's a low fastball called for ball. It's one and one. Stanton comes set. Here's the pitch. Outside curveball. It's called for ball two. Two and one now on Holly. <coughs> Munoz takes his lead off of first. Arthur Stamps on deck. Stanton looks at Munoz. He comes set. Here's the 2-1 to Holly. Fastball fouled off back towards the net. 
2 2 now on James Holly. Holly batting 1,000 on the season with two at bats, two hits, and both of those at bats. Stanton is set. He picks off. Munoz goes. Throw to second. Munoz is in. So not planned, but Munoz did get in on time. Munoz thought he was going home. He got the steal sign from Rogers. Thought Stanton was going for the pitch, but he took off. Kwasnicka caught it, threw it to second. A little bit of a wild throw. And Munoz gets into second safely. Stanton is set. Here's the pitch. Low slider. Holly checks his swing. He does not go. It'll be a full count now. Holly is ready. Stanton set. Here's the pitch. It's a fastball grounded to the shortstop, Weathers. Weathers will flip to third, and Munoz will get there in time. Weathers fielded the ball, flipped it to the third baseman, Josh Hill, but it was wild towards Hill's white right. Hill, the throw took him off the base. Munoz slid in. So now it will be runners on first and third on the air by Weathers. No outs here for Arthur Stamps. Great opportunity for, for some runs here for the Vikings. Ali takes his lead off at first. We'll see if Stanton tries another pickoff. He's set. Here comes the pitch. Fastball right down the middle. Calls for strike one on Stamps. So Nick Calamino on deck for the Vikings. Stamps up to the plate. He's starting in right field today for the Vikings. His fourth consecutive start there. Here comes the pickoff from Stanton. He'll throw to third. Munoz will get back in time. So lifted his leg as if he were going to pitch, but threw over to third base to try to pick off Munoz. Unsuccessful on the attempt. Stanton comes set. Here's the pitch. Fastball low. Nice scoop there by the catcher, Nick Willibur to prevent the runners from advancing. So 1-1 one, one here on Arthur Stamps. Here comes the pitch from Willowboy. High fastball, 2-1 now. Here comes the pitch. Fastball fouled off by Stamps. 2-2 two, two now. Low and away fastball there from Stanton. Stamps was early on it. Chopped it towards the Ca Marian Catholic dugout. So 2-2 two, two now. Holly at first. Munoz at third. Stamps at the plate and Nick Calamino on deck. Stanton checks over at Holly. Back at Munoz. He's set. Here comes the pitch. It's a curveball high. Taken for a ball, it'll be 3-2, full count here on Arthur Stamps now. Stanton is set. Here's a 3-2. Fastball driven to second by Arthur Stamps. It gets by. Holly will round second, but he will not go. Munoz will score on the play. So an RBI single there from Arthur Stamps. Nice way to go with the pitch there. 
Lined it under the second baseman's glove. Baranski couldn't get to it. So Holly will be at second. Stamps at first. Munoz scores on the play. Vikings now lead 1-0. So still no outs for the Vikings, and stepping up is Nick Calamino. He's starting in center field today, looking to add on to the Vikings' lead at this point. Stamps with a big lead at first as Kwasnick is playing in the dirt. Oh, so a curveball there from Stanton. Calamino fakes bunt. He does go for the bunt, but the ball gets by Willaboy. So Holly and Stamps both advance on the play. And here comes the Marion Catholic pitching coach to talk to Stan. Calamino went for a bunt, held on the bunt, but missed it. So it got by Willaboy and both runners advance. So not even better situation for the Vikings as runners on second and third for Calamino. Still no outs as they lead one nothing. Calamino up and Cameron Robertson on deck for the Vikings. He's getting his first start today in left field. Stanton taking a look at Calamino. He's set. Here's the pitch. Fastball swing and miss from Calamino, 0-2. So Holly at third, Stamps at second. Still no batters out. Bottom of the second here. Stanton is set. Here's the pitch. Fastball outside. Just missed. Stanton wanted the strike call. He didn't get it. 1-2 on Calamino. Calamino with a 400 average on the season. So batting quite high here to start for the Vikings. Here's the pitch. Curveball driven to the shortstop Weathers. He'll field it clean. He throw to Kwasnicka, but Holly will score on the play. So an RBI ground out there from Calamino to score the Vikings' second run of the inning. It'll be 2-0 Vikings here in the bottom of the second. So a liner ground out brought Weathers to his left a little bit, but feel that it clearly threw to Kwasnicka. So he did get the out. It'll be one out now for the Vikings. Came in Robertson stepping up. Inside fastball taken for a ball. 1-0 on Came in Robertson. So now only one runner on. It'll be Stamps at third. Still an opportunity for the Vikings to score another run. Fastball on the outside corner taken for a strike. 1-1 one, one on Came in Robertson. Stanton set. Here's the pitch. Driven to short by Robertson. Weathers will misfield it. He'll throw to first. They'll get Robertson, but Stamps will score on the play. So almost identical to the last play. As it's an RBI ground out for Robertson. Two outs now in the inning. Hard ground out of Weathers. Bobbled it for a minute, but quickly cleaned up and threw it to first to get the second out of the inning. Vikings do score, though, so it'll be 3-0 here in the bottom of the second. As they've now scored three in this inning. Mateo Morales is now up for the Vikings. He's in the nine hole, batting ninth for the Vikings. He's starting at second. One and one on him now. Here comes the pitch from Stanton. High curveball. Taken for ball two, two and one now on Mateo Morales. Here comes the pitch from Stanton. High and away fastball. 3-1 now on Mateo Morales. Here comes the pitch from Stanton. Fastball down the pipe. 3-2 now on Mateo Morales. Pitch from Michael Stanton. 
low outside slider. Morales thought about it, but he did not go. So he'll toe to first for a walk, and up to the plate will step Tory Chaney. Taking his second at bat of the game, he flew out to shortstop in his first at bat. He's 0 for 1. Morales leads off of first. Stanton set. Here's the pitch to Chaney. Slider on the outside part of the plate calls for a strike. A one on Tory Chaney. Stanton takes a look at Morales. He comes set. And here's the pitch. Fastball driven on the third baseline by Chaney, but it'll be foul. So a nice swing there from Tory Chaney. Just pulled it foul. Would have been a nice hit down the third baseline if he could have kept it fair. So 0 2 here on Chaney. We'll see what Stanton goes with for a try to put away pitch here. Here comes the pitch. Fastball outside corner. Just missed. Stanton thought it was a strike. Tory Chaney thought otherwise. So did the ump. 1 2 here on Chaney now. Stanton set. Here comes the pitch. Fastball low and outside. Morales will go. He'll get to second easily, take a big turn. He will not advance to third, though. So a low and outside slider there. Willowboy couldn't block it. Morales advances to second easily on the wild pitch. So 2-2 two -two here on Torrey Chaney with a runner in scoring position. Two outs for the Vikings. Stanton comes set. Here's the pitch. Low and outside slider again. Willowboy does block it this time. And they'll throw down to second to try to get Morales. Morales gets back in time. Some confusion between Baranski and Weathers there. Both tried to die for the ball. Neither caught it. So it'll be 3-2 here. Tory Chaney. Full count now. Two outs. Three runs scored in the inning for the Vikings with Morales on second. Stanton comes set. Takes a look at Morales. Here's the pitch. Fastball fouled off. Off the tip of the bat there from Chaney. Towards the backstop. It'll remain a full count here with two outs. <coughs> Stanton getting the sign. He comes set. Here's the pitch. Fastball high and inside there on Chaney. He'll go to first on the walk. So Ricky Ham will step up to the plate. So as Chaney takes the walk, runners will be on first and second for the Vikings. Still two outs. Ricky Ham one for one. Entering this game had a 571 average for the Vikings. One of their top hitters so far this season. Stanton steps off. Stanton gets set yet again. Attempted pick off to first. Chaney gets back in plenty of time. So not as close of a pickoff attempt there as we've seen previously. Stanton comes set. Here comes the pitch. Fastball fouled off high in the air. Out of play from Ricky Ham there. So it's fouled super high towards the Vikings dugout. Got out of play. 0-1 here on Ricky Ham. Stanton comes set. Here comes the pitch. Fastball low taken for ball one here by Ricky Ham. 1-1. One and one. Comes the pitch. Ham swing and a miss. One, two. So 37 pitches through two innings. Not even from Stanton here. Here comes the pitch to Ham. 
Driven high in the air. Foul out of play by Ricky Hamm. It'll remain 1-2. Stanton comes set. He's pitching. Swing and a miss from Ricky Ham. He gets the strikeout there on hand to get the third out of the inning, but the Vikings do score three. At the end of the second inning, Vikings are up 3 0. You're watching HF Viking Baseball. Ball one there from Humes. Here's the wind up the second pitch. Fouled off there by Davis. 1-1. One, one. Here comes the pitch from Humes. He nailed Davis on the pitch. So 1-1 one, one fastball high and inside nailed Davis in the back of the back of the elbow. So stepping up for his second at bat is Joe Baranski. 0 for 1 on the day. Humes takes a look over there at Davis. He picks off. Nothing doing. Humes comes set. Here's the 0 to Baranski. Fastball outside. Call for ball one. 1-0 one here on Joey Baranski. <coughs> Davis takes the lead from first. The 1-0. Fastball low and outside again. 2-0 on the starting second baseman. Here comes the pitch from Humes. Outside fastball. Williams tries to back pick to first. Doesn't get Davis, so it'll be 3-0 here on Baranski with no outs. Humes comes set. Here's pitch. Fastball down the middle. Called for a ball. Don't know where that one missed. Hume's not liking the call, but it'll be ball four, so Baranski will go to first on the walk. Davis to second, and stepping up for the Spartans is Matt Gonzalez, starting left fielder for the Vikings. So now Vince Davis will go to the pitching mound to try to talk to Humes.
the Spartans do score one on the sack fly. It'll still be 3-1 Vikings with two outs. Baranski still on second. Up for the Spartans is Jonah Trotter. I'm sorry, Jonathan Trotter. Ball there from Henry Hume, so it'll be 2-1. Some set. Here's pitch. Fastball high. 3 1 here from Henry Humes. Here comes the pitch. Ball four here from Henry Humes. So stepping up is Michael Stanton, starting pitcher for the Spartans. 45 pitches from Humes. So I'm sorry, 46 here. Through the first two and two thirds inning. He'll try to put away Stanton to get the Vikings out of this jam. He's set. Here comes the pitch. Fastball grounded to third by Stanton. It'll be foul. Just foul there, right outside the third base line. So 0-1 here on Michael Stanton. Humes comes set. Here comes the pitch. Fastball fouled back towards the net. 0-2 here on Stanton. Two outs for the Vikings. They still lead three to one here in the bottom of the, or I'm sorry, the top of the third. Here comes the pitch from Humes. Low changeup. Stanton check swung. He did not go. It'll be one two now on Michael Stanton. Humes comes set. Here's the pitch. Driven in the air towards center field. Calamino goes back. It'll hit the wall. He'll throw it into Cheney. Cheney will throw it home. And they'll get Trotter on the relay home. So Spartans do score one, but a nice relay there from Calamino to Cheney to Williams will nail Trotter at home. So it'll be 3-2 Vikings at the end of the top of the third. As you see, a nice throw there from Tory Cheney to get Trotter for the third out. So the tie is avoided there from the Vikings. Spartans do score one, though. So we're headed into the bottom of the third. It's 3-2 Vikings. You're watching HF Viking Baseball.
Stepping up for the Vikings now is Demir Heidelberg. His second at-bat of the game. Here's the pitch from Stanton. This is a low and outside fastball taken for a ball one. 1-0 one -oh here on Heidelberg. So Spartans score two there in the top of the third. Vikings still lead 3-2. High fastball there from Stanton. 2-0 -oh here on Demir Heidelberg. Here comes the 2-0 -oh from Stanton. Low slider called for ball three. So three straight balls here from Trotter. I'm sorry, from Stanton. Heidelberg has walked in his first at bat. Looks like they don't want to pitch to him here in his second at bat either. Here comes the pitch from Stanton. Fastball, big swing there from Heidelberg. Hughes trying to take that ball out. So now 3 1 here on Heidelberg. Here comes the pitch from Stanton. Swing and a miss there from Heidelberg. 3 2 now. Was a low and away slider. Heidelberg chased. Full count now. Here comes the 3 2 from Stanton. Pitch. Fastball grounded to third. He feels it cleanly. He throws to first. Kwasnicka makes the catch. So one out here as they get Heidelberg on the ground out. Stepping up for the Vikings is Cameron Williams. He took a walk here in his first at bat. We'll see what he can do now. Here comes the pitch. Low outside called for a strike there. Looked a little low, but here's the pitch from Stanton. High inside slurve, 1-1 one, one now on Williams. Here comes the 1-1 one, one from Stanton. Low in the dirt slider, 2-1 now on Williams. So 2 1 now on Cameron Williams. Here comes the pitch. Fastball. Chest high, a little bit outside, called for strike two. So now 2 2 on Cameron Williams. Stanton is set. Here's the windup and the pitch. Williams grounds it to short. Weathers fields it cleanly. Throws to first. Claus Nickham makes the catch. So two outs now for the Vikings. And up to the plate will step James Holly. Holly grounds it to second. Baranti will field the cleanly. Throw to first. So one, two, three inning there from the Vikings. No run scored. We'll head to the top of the fourth. It's 3-2 Vikings. You're watching HF Viking Baseball. Here we are in the top of the fourth. 
Here comes the windup from Humes, the pitch. Fastball driven to third on a little chopper. Ham charges it, nice play there to get the first out of the inning on the first pitch. So a weak grounder there off the inside of the bat. There from Melee. Ham charges it, was playing on the grass on the inside. So an easy play for him to get the first out for the Vikings. Up to the plate now is Nick Willoughby. Oh one now on Willoughby. Here comes the pitch. Oh one from Humes. Fastball on the outside corner. Oh two now. Here comes the O two now from Henry Humes. Same pitch looked like. Not called the strike though. Don't know exactly where that one missed. Maybe just a bit high. So one two now. Here it is from Humes. Slider on the outside corner. Nice chase pitch there. Didn't get Willoughby to chase though. So two two now. Here comes the pitch. Fastball driven a short. Chaney will fielder clearly nice and smooth. Throw to Heidelberg at first. So two straight ground outs there from the Spartans. As you get two quick and easy out there from Humes. Quick, smooth transition there from Cheney. And a line throw to first to Heidelberg for a nice out. Stepping up now is Josh Hill, starting third base for the Spartans. Here comes the pitch from Humes. Fastball. I'm sorry, it looks like a changeup on the inside corner of the plate. 0 and 1. Humes to set. Here's the pitch. Fastball outside corner, 0-2. So Hume's going right at him this inning, not a fade to throw him fastballs. 0-2, here it comes. Curveball, nasty pitch there from Humes to get the strikeout looking. Amazing pitch there from Henry Humes to get Hill looking on the third strike. Curveball started high. Ended at his chest. So an amazing pitch there to get the third out for the Vikings. We'll head to the bottom of the fourth. 3-2 Vikings, you're watching HF Viking Baseball. So Vikings lead 3-2 as we're headed into the bottom of the fourth. Stanton still on the mound for the Spartans, and up to the plate is Arthur Stams for the Vikings. Here comes the pitch from Stanton. Fastball, low outside corner, called for strike one here on Stamps. Stanton is set, and wind up the pitch. Low outside slider. Stamp check swung. They said he went. Stamp doesn't like the call, so 0 2 here on him. Stanton set. Here comes the pitch. Inside almost hit Stamps, so 1 2 now on him.
here comes the one two from Stanton. Driven to right field by Stamps. So a nice way to go the other way with the outside fastball. So a one two knock there from Arthur Stamps will put him on first with no outs. Nick Calamino up to the bat for the Vikings. One two rip there from Stamps. To the left of Baranski, he just couldn't get there. So one out, or I'm sorry, a no out single there from Arthur Stamps. Stanton checks over there on Stamps, nothing doing. Another pickoff there from Stanton. Doesn't get stamps. So O O here on Calamino, no outs. Stamps on first. Dishy three pitches here from Stanton here through only three innings. Here comes the pickoff again. Did not get stamps. So three straight pickoff moves from Michael Stanton. Bunt showed there from Calamino. He missed it. So it'll be 0-1. Another pickoff there from Stanton. We'll check the pickoff here on this one. So now Calamino drives one to deep left field. Almost got over the left fielder's head, but he makes a nice running catch. So Gonzalez almost went over his head, but he reached over. Face towards the wall, back towards plate. And he makes a nice running catch for the first out there for the Vikings. So one out here, Stamp still on first. Came in Robertson stepping up now for the Vikings.
Sorry, I had a bit of a network connection timeout there. The Spartans get out of the inning with no runs allowed. Humes hits the first batter of the inning. So it's the top of the five, fifth. Vikings still lead three to two. Vikings had two runners on in the bottom of the fourth, but left them stranded. Humes right now at 60 pitches through four innings. Davis at first. Humes with the pickoff, but doesn't get him. Humes takes another look over there at Davis. Here he comes set. Here's the pitch. Fastball outside. Nice stop there with Williams. So 1 0 here on Baranski. Humes comes set. Here's the pitch. Fastball down the middle. 1 and 1. Hume steps off, takes a look there over there at Davis. He comes set. Another pick off there. Doesn't get him. And so one and one here on the second baseman, Baranski. He comes set. Another pick off there for Davis. Still doesn't get him. Come set. Here's pitch. Fastball swing and miss from Baranski. 1 2 now. Humes come set. The 1 2 pitch to Baranski. Fastball. Baranski reached for it and fouled off towards the Spartans' dugout. It'll remain 1 and 2. Low outside fastball. Baranski just foul tipped it off towards the left. Baranski calls time at the plate. So one two count. Here comes the pitch from Humes. Fastball outside. Baranski doesn't chase. Two two. Spartans with three straight wins here on the season. They're three, you know. Five to four versus De La Salle. Baranski fouls it off towards the parking lot. Like I said, they took their first win against De La Salle, winning five to four. Next one against Thornwood, winning 12 to two. And then beating Morgan Park, 11 to one. So they're three, you know. But so are your Homewood Flossmoor Vikings. They won nine to eight versus Kenwood. As well as 16 and 1 versus Eisenhower and 12 to 9 versus Crete Money. So both teams 3 and 0 going into this game. One of the teams going to take their first loss of the season. Humes come set. Here's the pitch. Line to left field by Baranski. So it'll be a no out hit here from Joey Baranski. Just to the right of Tory Chaney, almost got it. But it'll get between Chaney and Ham. <coughs> so stepping up for the Spartans is Matt Gonzalez with runners on first and second. So still no outs for the Spartans here. Hume's trying to get out of this jam with no runs allowed. Vikings only up by one. Hume steps off. Humes is set. 
Here comes the pitch. Bunt shown by Gonzalez. He fouls it off back towards Williams. It'll be 0-1 here on Matt Gonzalez. Gonzalez showed Bunt, tipped it, hit the plate, hit Williams in his face mask. So 0-1. Baranski at first, Davis at second. Here comes the pitch. Outside fastball, 1-1. One, one. Here comes the pitch from Humes. Fastball, line to left center field, it'll get down. Calamino will field it. No runners will score on the play, so it'll be bases loaded. Still no outs for the Spartans. So just a little blooper here in the center from Gonzalez. Jonah Weather stepping up for the Spartans now. There's 0 for 1 on the day. Had a sacrifice fly earlier in the game. Line to left center field. It's going to get down. Robertson will field it with one hand off the wall. The throw in is going to get away. Humes will get it, though. So Weathers lines it to left field with a two RBI double to score two for the Spartans. So 4-3 they lead here in the top of the fifth. A miscommunication by the Vikings. Robertson threw it in, but there was no one to cut it off. So it appears that'll be all for Humes. Trent Rose will come in for the Vikings. So as there is a picking pitching change, we'll take a break here. Four three Spartans in the top of the fifth.
it appears the runner at third at the end of the play was called out for fielder's interference. So a big out there for the Vikings. So it'll only be Weathers at second. Jonathan Trotter up for the Spartans. Huge there for the Vikings to get the first out of the inning. Give them a little bit of confidence here. So Trent Rose will enter for the Vikings. His third pitching appearance of the season. Here comes the pitch. It's low curveball. Williams couldn't stop it, so Weathers will advance to third on the play. <coughs> so 1-0 here on Trotter. Here comes the pitch from Rosebro. Curveball, nice pitch there from Trent. 1-1. One, one. Roseburg is set. Here's the pitch. Fouled high. No, it's not foul. It's fair. It's high in the air. Stamps will call it. Nobody will grab it. So some confusion there by the Vikings between Morales and Stamps. No one gets the pop out. So still one out here for the Vikings. No one grabs it. So Michael Stanton stepping up for the Vikings. Still one out. And Trotter will be at first. So 2-1 here on Stanton. Here's the pitch. Driven to center field. It's going to get down. Calamino will field it cleanly. He'll throw in a second. So still one out. Runners on the corners here for the Spartans. Stepping up is Max Mele. So Spartans have scored three so far in the inning. They're up five to three. Rosebro set. Here's the pitch. It's a high fastball called for a ball. One zero. -oh. Roseburg is set. Steps off. Nothing doing. So here steps back on the mound. She'll look over to first. He's set. Here's the pitch. Fastball swing and a miss. Nice pitch there from Roseburg to get Mele swinging. One and one. Bro, set, step off. Here comes the pitch. Outside fastball called for a strike. Williams throws that in a second. But there's a successful steal. A one two here on Max Mele. Bro 
Roseberger set. Here's pitch. Outside slider. Williams tried to frame it. Didn't get the call. 2-2. Two -two. Looked like a nice pitch there from Roseboro. Williams didn't get the call. Here it is. 2-2 two -two to Max Mele. Roseboro is set. Here's pitch. Fastball chopped to the left. Foul. <coughs> Was chopped to the left towards the Spartans dugout. Just got out of play. Rose Barrow comes set. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. The pitch. Fastball swing and a miss from Max Mele. Nice pitch to get it out of the jam. Two outs here for the Spartans. Stepping up now is Nick Willoughby. Roseburg will try to get him for the third out of the inning. Get out of this jam for the Vikings. Spartans up 5-3. They've scored three in the inning. Here comes the pitch from Roseburg. Grounded to uh, right field. That'll get through. Stamps will throw in. Two runs will score on the play. So Willoughby will score two runs there on the two RBI single. So it'll be 7-3 Spartans. So a two-out single there. Big hit for the Spartans to put them ahead by four now. <coughs> Up now is Josh Hill for the Spartans. Hill 0 for 2 on the day. Roseburg is set. Here's pitch. Fastball high. Williams throws down to first. That'll get in the right field. Stamps will throw it in. So Willoughby gets the second on the air by Cam Williams on the throw down to first. Still only two outs. 1-0 for the Vikings. Sorry, 1-0 on Josh Hill. <coughs> Roseburg is set. Here comes the pitch. Fastball swing and a miss. Nice pitch there from Roseburg to get the first strike of the at-bat. One and one. Here's the pitch from Roseburg. Low and away slider. Two, 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 one. Spartans lead by four now in the top of the fifth. Two outs, 2-1 two pitch from Roseboro. A low fastball there. Three and one now on Hill. A pitch from Roseboro. Fouled off towards the Spartans' dugout. It'll be a full count now with two outs. Full count now on Hill. Here comes the payoff pitch from Roseburg. Fastball, outside corner, rung him up for strike three. Nice pitch there from Trent Roseburg to get out of the jam. So 7-3 Spartans, they lead at the end of the top of the fifth. We'll go to the bottom fifth. Spartans lead by four. You're watching H.J. Viking Baseball.
So we're in the bottom of the fifth inning here. <coughs> New relief pitcher for the Spartans coming on. It's Matt Gonzalez. Here's the pitch to Heidelberg. Inside curveball called for a ball. 1-0 here on Heidelberg. Gonzalez getting the sign. He's set. Here comes the pitch. High and away fastball. 2-0 here on Demir Heidelberg. Here's the pitch. Popped high in the air from Heidelberg. Weathers is going to call it. He'll get it. First out here for the Vikings. One out for the Vikings now. Cam Williams stepping up for the Vikings. For first off, Weathers taking patrol there. Making sure he gets the fly out. So one out, Cameron Williams. Here's the pitch. Low curveball. 1-0 here on Williams. Here's the pitch. Slider. 1-1 one, one here on Cameron Williams. Gonzalez is set. Here comes the pitch. Low and away curveball. 2-1 here on Williams now. <coughs> Gonzalez is set again. Cam Williams calls time. He'll step out of the box. 2-1 count on him with one out. Gonzalez set. Here's the pitch. High fastball on Williams. 3-1 now. Gonzalez is set. Here comes the pitch. Outside slider. Called for strike two. Williams doesn't like the call. Looks like the same pitch from last inning that Williams thought was a strike. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss from Cam Williams. So he's upset with himself. Two outs now for the Vikings. Stepping up now is James Holly. Gonzalez is set. Here's the pitch. Fastball down the middle. 0-1 here on Holly. Holly comes set. Here's the pitch. 0-2 here on James Holly. Gonzalez is set. Here comes the 0-2. High fastball, 1-2 now on Holly.
Gonzalez comes set. The one two pitch. Inside fastball hit Holly. Holly goes to first on the hit by pitch. So they're telling Holly that it didn't hit him. Rogers arguing from the third base sideline that it hit his foot. So it's just called the ball. It'll be 2 2 here on James Holly. Gonzalez comes set. Here's the pitch. Low changeup. 3 2 here on James Holly now. <coughs> Full count, two outs for the Vikings in the bottom of the fifth inning. Gonzalez comes set. Here's the payoff pitch. Outside fastball called for strike three on James Holly. And that'll be the end of the fifth inning. We head to the top of the sixth. 7-3 Spartans lead. You're watching HF Viking Baseball. So Roseburg back out on the mound for his second inning of duty. Josh Davis stepping up for the Spartans. Here's the first pitch. Fastball on the outside corner. Nice pitch from Roseburg called for a strike. It's 0-1 here on Davis. Here's the 0-1. Curveball fouled off towards right. 0-2 here. Davis was late on it. Drove it out of play. Where's the Vikings dugout? So here's the 0-2 pitch from Roseburg. Outside changeup. Roseburg and Williams wanted the call. Didn't get it. Looked like the same pitch called on Williams. So the 1-2 pitch from Roseburg. Here it is. Low slider in the dirt. 2-2. Two -two. Here comes the 2-2 from Roseburg. Fastball driven high in the air. Out of play, it's foul. It will remain 2-2. the pitch from Roseburg. Curve on the outside part of the plate. It'll be 3-2. Popped up in the air by Davis. Morales will call it. But Stamps will call him off. He'll make the catch. So a nice play there from Arthur Stamps to get the first out of the inning. Stepping up now is Joe Moransky. Moransky, I'm sorry. Moransky, two, one for two on the day. His third at bat. 
First pitch from Roseburg is an outside curveball called for strike one. Here's pitch fouled off by Baranski. It'll be 0-2. Two now on Joey Baranski. Here comes the pitch from Roseburg. Driven into right field. That'll be a ground ball to Stamps for a one out single from Baranski. So Baranski now two for three on the day. Stepping up now for the Spartans is Matt Gonzalez. Bird comes set. Here comes the pitch. Fastball on the inside part of the plate called for strike one on Gonzalez. So 0 1 on Gonzalez now. Roseburg steps off the mound. Here comes the pitch. It's a ground ball driven to Cheney. He bobbles it. Morales fields it. And a double play turned. Great play there from Tori Cheney, but especially Mateo Morales. So it was grounded to Cheney. He tried to field it, bobbled it, but rolled it towards Morales. Morales picked it up, threw it to first, and they got the double play. So a huge energy booster there for the Vikings as they head into the bottom of the sixth. They're down four trying to get those run backs. You're watching HF Viking Baseball. So bottom of the six, Vikings still down four. Gonzalez back out to the mound for the Spartans. First pitch to Stamps is outside, called for a strike. A one on Arthur Stamps. Here comes the 0-1. Low and away slider on Stamps, one and one. One one here on Arthur Stamps now. Here's pitch. High fastball called for strike two. One two on him now. Stamps in right field. Center fielder Nick Calamino on deck. Here's the pitch from Gonzalez. Low and away slider. Stamps chased it, and he struck it out. Nick Calamino stepping up now for the Vikings. Here's the pitch from Gonzalez. High and away. Fastball called for ball one. Calamino 0 for 2 on the day. 
Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss from Nick Calamino. One on one. Calamino did have the RBI ground out earlier in the game in the third inning. I'm sorry, the second inning. Here's the pitch from Gonzalez. Fouled off by Calamino. It'll be 1 2 now. Gonzalez on the set. Here's the pitch. Fastball driven in the air. That's high. That's deep from Calamino. It's got a chance. But the right fielder makes a play. Max Melee caught it. Looks for a minute like it was gone, but the wind pushed it back in. Melee made a nice catch to get the second out of the inning for the Vikings. Stepping up now is Kamen Robertson. Two for two on the day with a clutch RBI double earlier in the game. Comes pitching Gonzalez. Outside curveball from Robertson. One and oh. I'm sorry, one and one here on him. Here comes pitching Gonzalez. Fastball on the outside part of the plate. It'll be one two on Robertson. Gonzalez comes set. Here's the pitch. Fastball. Right down the pipe, Robertson is looking. So he gets a strikeout. It'll be 7-3 going into the top of the seventh. Spartans lead by four. You're watching HF Viking Baseball. So top of the seventh here, Roseburg trying to hold off Spartans to give the Vikings a chance to come back here in the bottom. Here's the pitch from Roseburg. Outside curveball, ball one here on Weathers. Here comes the pitch from Roseburg. Driven to left field. Foul ball here from Jonah Weathers. Just to the left of the left foul, foul pull line. So 1-1 one, one here on Jonah Weathers. Here comes the pitch from Roseburg. Fastball. Weathers swung. Fastball hit the plate. It'll be 1-2. One, two, count on Weathers. Here comes the pitch. Fastball, outside part of the plate. Roseboro wanted the call. He did not get it. Two, two now on Jonah Weathers. So wind up from Roseburg. Here's the pitch. Grounded to Roseburg. He'll toss to Heidelberg easily on the play. First out of the inning for the Vikings.
Stepping up now is Jonathan Trotter for the Spartans. Here's the pitch from Roseburg. High curveball. Take it for ball one. Here comes the pitch from Roseburg. Fastball driven to second base. Morales feels it cleanly. Throws to first. Heidelberg makes the catch. Two straight outs for the Vikings. And up to the plate now. It's going to be a pinch hitter for the Spartans. It's going to be... Inch hitter for the Spartans. It's going to be Ronnie Gordon. He follows it back towards the net. 0 and 1. Here comes the pitch from Roseburg. 0 and 1. Curveball swing and a miss here. 0 and 2 now. On Gordon. Here comes the pitch from Roseburg. Low and away slider in the dirt. Williams blocked it. It'll be 1 2 now on Gordon. Here comes the pitch from Roseburg. Swing and a miss from Gordon. So that'll be a third out for the Vikings. We'll head into the bottom of the seventh. Vikings are down four, trying to make a comeback. Bottom of the seventh, last inning for the Vikings. You're watching HF Viking Baseball. Stepping up for the Vikings now, trying to get things started in the bottom of the seventh. Mateo Morales. Here's pitch. Outside fastball, ball one. Morales 0 for 1 on the day. Here's the pitch. Slider in the outside part of the plate. 1 and 1. Here's the 1-1 one -one from Gonzalez. Fastball outside, 2-1 now. Two one pitch from Gonzalez on the way. Here's it is. Ground ball to Weathers, that's short. He'll bobble it, and Morales will get to first on the air by Weathers. A hard ground ball there from Mateo Morales. Hustled it out to first, and Weathers bobbled it. So Morales will get to first with a no-out error. And up to the play, it's the top of the lineup. It's going to be Tory Chaney. Chaney still 0 for 1 in the day. Two walks. Here's the pitch. Low outside slider. Chaney does not go. It's 1-0. So Morales 
Way to get on base to get a starter for the Vikings. Gonzalez comes set. Pick off to first. Morales gets back in time. Gonzalez comes set. Here's pitch. Low and outside slider. Two straight of those to Cheney. So it'll be 2-0. Two zero on Tory Cheney. Here's the pitch from Gonzalez. Inside slider called for a strike on Cheney. Slider started in the slide, ended up on the inside part of the plate. Two and one now on him. Pick off to first to Morales. He gets back in time. A 2-1 pitch from Gonzalez. Here it is. Another pick off to first to try to get Morales. He gets back in time again. The Spartans seem to love the pick off here. This game. Gonzalez comes set. Here's pitch. Low outside slider. That'll be ball three on Cheney. Three balls to Cheney. All have been low and outside sliders in the same spot. Maybe they don't want to pitch to him. So three and one on him. Morales leads off to first. Ricky Ham on deck. Another low outside slider. That one's in the dirt. So runners on first and second. No outs for the Vikings. And up to the plate is Ricky Ham. So the Vikings starting the inning off with runners on first and second. Opportunity for Ham here to get on and maybe drive a runner or two in. Gonzalez comes set. Runners on first and second. He steps off. Take a breather. Oh, oh, here on Ricky Ham. Gonzalez is set. Steps off again. So Ham up to bat. Morales on second, Cheney on first, Demir Heidelberg on deck. Here comes the pitch from Gonzalez. High fastball, ball one on Ricky Ham. Gonzalez comes set, and here's the pitch. Low outside slider, 2 0 now on Ricky Ham. Am ready for the 2-0 pitch. Gonzalez set. Here's pitch. Slider hung down the middle of the plate. It'll be 2-1. Here's the 2-1 from Gonzalez. High slider. 3-1 now on Ricky Ham. Still no odds for the Vikings. Runners on first and second. And a 3-1 count here for Ham. Gonzalez is set. Here comes the 3-1. Big swing there from Ham. Let's make it 3-2 now. Full count now on Ham. No outs for the Vikings. Runners on first and second. Spartans lead 7-3. Here we go. Inside fastball. Ham will take the walk. So it'll be bases loaded, no outs here for Demir Heidelberg. And it appears that Marion will he head coach, will head to the mound to talk to Gonzalez.
right. So Heidelberg up with the bases loaded. Vikings down by four. Gonzalez pitching. Inside slider called for ball one. So the Marion head coach went to talk to Gonzalez, but leaves him out there here with the bases loaded. Here's the pitch from him. Low outside fastball. Ball two on Demir Heidelberg. Two zero now on Heidelberg. Bases are your juice. Here comes the two zero. Gonzalez is set. Here it is. High fastball. Three zero on Demir Heidelberg now. Gonzalez comes set. Here's the pitch. Inside slider called for a strike on Demir Heidelberg. 3-1. So 3-1 is the count. Bases loaded for the Vikings. No outs. 7-3. Here's the pitch. Big swing from Heidelberg. 3-2 now. Full count. Heidelberg 0 for 3 on the day, looking for his first hit. Here's pitch. An inside slider. That's going to be ball 4 on Heidelberg. At first it looked like it hit him, but just an inside pitch for ball 4. So that'll put the Vikings on the board this inning. It'll be 7-4. Up to the plate will step Cameron Williams. So it'll be 7-4. Bases are still loaded for the Vikings, and Cameron Williams is up to bat. Cam Williams, big spot here for the Vikings. Had a three-run home run the other game. Here's pitch. First pitch slider down the middle, 0-1 on Williams. Count is 0-1-1, bases loaded here for Williams. Here's the pitch. Low outside slider, 1-1 on Williams. Gonzalez is set, here's the pitch. Fouled off by Williams. It'll be 1-2 now on him. So 1-2 the count on Williams. Base is loaded. Williams up to bat. Cheney at third. Cam at second. Heidelberg at first. Heidelberg on deck. Inside. Almost hit Williams. He backed out of the way of it. It'll be 2-2. Williams 0 for 2 on the day. Gonzalez is set. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss from Cameron Williams. That'll be the first out of the inning for the Vikings. So Williams goes down. Up to the plate now is James Holly. Looking to do something big for the Vikings here. Bases are loaded, one out. Vikings are down seven to four. Here comes the pitch from Gonzalez. Outside fastball, called for a strike on Holly. Holly's one for three on the day. Here's the pitch from Gonzalez. High fastball, one and one on Holly now. Arthur Stamps on deck for the Vikings. Gonzalez is set. Outside changeup. 2-1 on Holly now. So 2-1 on James Holly. Here comes the pitch from Gonzalez. 
Change up right down the middle. 2-2 two -two now on James Holly. Gonzalez, 2-2 two -two pitch. And the ball hit him. The ball hit James Holly. So he'll go to first on the hit by pitch. Tory Chaney will score. It'll be 7 5. Vikings are only down by two. And up to the plate will step Arthur Stamps. So the ball hit Holly in his foot. And so the Marion coach will come to the mound. That'll be the end of it for Gonzalez. And in the game for the Viking or for the Spartans, I'm sorry, will come Michael Bailey to try to close this out for them. To face him first will be Arthur Stamps. He's got the bases loaded. Big opportunity here for the Vikings. We'll be right back. So big moment here for Arthur Stams. He'll step into the box. One out here for the Vikings. Bases are loaded. He'll step into the box to face Michael Bailey, the new relief pitcher for the Spartans. Southpaw will face Stamps. Stamps is two for three on the day. Here's pitch. Fouled off by Arthur Stamps, 0-1. Big swing there, just got a piece of it. Fouled it to the back net. So 0-1 here on Arthur Stamps. Bailey comes set. Here's pitch. High fastball, 1-1 one, one here on Arthur Stamps. Here comes the pitch from Bailey, 1-1. One, one. High fastball. Cam thought about coming home, does not. It'll be 2-1 here on Stamps. So 2 1 on Stamps against Stamps. I'm sorry, against Bailey. Here's the pitch 2 1. And it hits Stamps! So he'll go to first. The score will be 7 6. Vikings cut the lead down to 1. Up to the plate now, Nick Calamino. So still, bases loaded, one out. 
Vikings only down by one now. Calamino will step up. 0 for 3 on the day. Looking to get his first hit here. Bailey set. The O to Calamino. He drives it to left field. Let's see, will it be deep enough for the runner to tag? The runner does tag. Demir Heidelberg will get home. Ham will try to go to third. I'm sorry, Munoz will try to go to third, but he doesn't. He'll go back to second. So Heidelberg will score on the play on the Nick Calamino sack fly. So it'll be 7-7 Vikings. They tie the game here late in the game. Cayman Robertson stepping up for the Vikings. Two for three on the day. Could end this game with a base hit to the outfield. Munoz on second. Stamps on first. Here comes the pitch to Robertson. High fastball taken for ball one. So two outs for the Vikings. Robertson at the plate in a big situation. Here comes the pitch. Fouled off by Robertson. Got a piece of it towards the back net. One and one here on Robertson. Bailey set. Here's the pitch. Low changeup in the dirt. 2-1 now. Bailey set. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss from Robertson. 2-2 two -two now on him. Bailey set. Here comes the 2-2. Two -two. High fastball. Munoz goes to third. He steals third. He's going to get home on the wild throw. The Vikings win in the bottom of the seventh. They're going to take home the W8-7. to seven. Munoz stole third. Willoughby throw to third. Throw was wild, and Munoz jogs home easily for the Vikings to take the win. Huge win for the Vikings against the Marion Catholic Spartans. So the Vikings will go home with a W and they will stay undefeated in the season. They'll remain 4-0 with the 7-8 W versus the Marion Catholic Spartans. The Vikings are back in action tomorrow against the Kankakee Kays away at Kankakee. We hope to see you then. That's all for today. The Vikings take home the W 8-7. Thank you so much for watching.